Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's a little overdue, but we're going to check out at least one of the F22A Raptor mods for DCS that's out there. Now, I came across this because I recently organized the DCS Community Air Show, and one of the entries was in the F22 Raptor, so I had to go and download it. First of all, to specify, there are several free unofficial DCS Raptor mods out there. The one we're looking at today is from Grinelli, because it's the one that was in the air show, and it just really impressed me. So, first of all, how to download it this link here which I'll have in the video description put that into a browser of your choosing other browsers are available it will say this download anyway and go and download that zip file inside that zip file will be a folder called f22a you are to copy and paste that into an area called your saved games so let me go and lo locate my saved games first of all and then I'll show you how to get yours mine is on F drive yours will probably be on C drive uh, then on users, then on your particular user, that's me, and then it will be saved games, like there. I've actually moved mine uh, to F drive because I'd run out of space because of all my liveries, so save games. Then into DCS or DCS Open Beta, whichever one. Then you're going to go to mods, and if there is not a folder called mods, make it and call it exactly what I've called it there. Then aircraft, make it and call it exactly what it is there. And then paste the folder, and it's called F22 Raptor. And there it is in there. And that's it all done. And it just works. It works as open beta. It works and stable at 22nd of April 2020. Load the game. I'll see you in. So I'm in open beta now. You can see the version number at the bottom right, I hope, there. We're going to go to Mission Editor. I'm going to make a mission by clicking on one of these air bases here. That one looks sufficient and I'm going to choose the F22A, which should just show up now. I'm going to go to make it client. I'm going to make it start hot at the base. I'm going to go to armament, and you can see we've got armament here. Now, the way this works is it's based on the F15C shell. So it flies just like an F15 with slight modifications. For instance, the radar cross-section has been changed, so it doesn't show or barely shows up on radar. So it is stealthy to an extent. But bear in mind, this is an unofficial module. It has the flight characteristics of the F15. Now, the cool thing about that is the flight characteristics, ignoring thrust vector, and we're talking about speed accelerations, is not actually that different to the F15. So it's a pretty good thing to base it on obviously the real raptor has thrust vectoring this has the illusion of thrust vectoring the thrust vector nozzles vector but it does not have the modeling of thrust vectoring obviously because the f15 didn't so i'm going to choose an assortment you can see i'm going to have eight amram c's here and side wonders i don't think i can have anything here no just just that so i'm going to have that can i have x's yes i can aim line x very good Let's go with that. Put a couple in so RC can come and fly. RC's up in the sky doing his thing. We're in the cockpit here. It's essentially a juggled about F-15C cockpit. If we press the mic button, then we've got the flood light come on. Press the Lima button. We've got the, you know, the buttons uh, illumination there. This is just the F-15C radar B-scope, but moved. That is the F-15RWR, but moved. That is the F-15SMS, but moved. Nothing is actually clickable in here. Uh, whether that's accurate to the real F-22 with the way it looks, not the foggiest, I haven't looked, but um, presumably it is, and it all looks pretty good to be honest. And what have we got here? Our COM1, so our currently actually selected radio, right MFD is configurable, which is quite cool, so this is going to show you your various instruments, it all works, it just comes from the uh, F-15 DLL. If we press left shift and delta, we can cycle through to this here, showing the systems, which works, which is cheeky and cool. Left shift delta again. Got our rudimentary kind of HSI for navigation here for our waypoints. Uh, we've got a advanced SMS. Ah, no, this is fuel. So, okay, that's quite cool. So it's telling me I've got 13.3 thousand pounds in, in the various tanks. Right. Left shift D again. It gets to our map, which is quite cool. Uh, left shift D again. We've got our checklist. And it just shows our controls here for the floodlight, the bay doors. The air to air refueling pro because we can air to air refuel and the how to cycle through MFD pages. So that's about it. We get the F15 uh, HUD here and the model all around here looks really good. Uh, Granani makes some really cool looking mods. I mean that there, you know, it's not super professional like the F14 but it's not that far away to be honest. Um, I wish we had some better lighting around here. Let's have a look at the outside of the module because it does look sweet.
left out in golf. So these are our wing mounted AMRAMs, those are our nacelle mounted A9Xs and we've got I think six AMRAMs in the belly which we can't see at the moment. I presume that you need to manually open those doors before you can actually fire the weapons which would make sense, I haven't tried it yet. So let's go for a little run. Are you up in the air RC? Not yet, I'm just finishing. I had to reset my oh, Jack, I'm going to try uh, locking you up. So it's just got an F-15 radar in at the moment. Let's see what the pilot looks like. Oh, doesn't have a pilot. Oh, it's, it's annoying. It's one of these modules where it's just removed the interior sounds. I hate it when they do that. A tiny bit of afterburner sound, I imagine, but nothing else. Just like the Mirage. It's just completely unsatisfying. Right, we're up. And gear up. And she's just going to feel like an F-15. No sound for the gun. I can hear it on the outside. Can you? Alright. Doesn't have many gun rounds. So although we've got the nozzles at the back, they don't actually have the effect of being able to flip the plane around and stuff like that. Um, which is the same, but that's what it is. Next, we'll show you the radar cross section. If RC, I'm uh, going to come and find you. What they've done is they've just reduced the radar cross section to like one centimeter squared, whereas a normal F 15 or something is about four or five meters squared. So I'm going to show you. I will be able to lock him at very close ranges, but not far. Oh, I see him down there. Let's go and have a word with him. Now, obviously, we can't use this as a serious mod in DCS because this is not a serious mod, but what we can use it is a cameo plane for a special kind of stealth mission or something so I would like to use it if I can get the guys to download Shoot. it Shoot. okay so I can get a lock on you there can you just burn away in any direction RC I just want to see if I can lose the lock yep. see if the RCS is working maybe it doesn't work on open beta but we'll see he's gone that was at seven miles on a rear aspect do you want to do a quick 180 RC come back to me and see if I can see you on a front aspect okay 10 miles let's turn back in at uh, say 4,000 feet Yep. Looking. Yeah, it works. I can't see you at all. Let's see how close. Uh, try and get me visually in. Do you want my RWR? Okay, I'm going to run right into you. Still can't see. Still can't see. Shoot. Okay, Shoot. I got oh. you at five miles, so right. I can get you at five miles. That's pretty cool. So, I yeah. don't know if it's realistic or not, but it works, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else is there to show? Oh, I'm going to fire some missiles. Right, run away. I'm going to send some AMRAMs after you. Uh, I'm going to see how it works exactly. So I've got the... Uh, what have I got selected? I'm going to fire. See how it works. Oh, they just fall out of the... <laughs> they just fall out of the yeah. uh, bay. Yeah, that's a shame. It's a shame they can't make them not come out of the bay. So you have to open the bay first, but that'd be good. Anyway, I can guarantee you're not going to beat that, RC. That's it. Anything else you can think of showing on the Raptor? Nope. Yep. Yeah, so if you, you know, if you don't mind a bit of a laugh and don't take it too seriously, actually quite fun. Uh, let's do a final maneuver to show off. Definitely see the AMRAMs in the bay. Oh, let me have a look in the bay. Oh, the, yeah, Amram's. I didn't realise they were still there. I tried to get my myself and just spin, but it didn't work. Whee! Boom! I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.